Hi guys, little surprise there. Guess where I am right now? Parking lot of the Raga shop, my beloved and preferred Christmas department store. And it's sunny, strange, because this morning was very cloudy. I thought it would have uh, rain at some point. It's uh, Saturday, uh, October the 15th, and it's uh, 20 past 12 p.m. So it's a preferred, perfect uh, time to go to Peraga because in Italy almost everyone is at lunch uh, at this time around 12, 12.30 12 p.m. So let's get inside uh, the same and uh, only Peraga shop. It's not Peraga shop here. Peraga shop is only online. But here we have one of the biggest, sorry for the noise, oh, wow. a little scooter. Um, this is, as I always told you, one of the biggest uh, Christmas uh, store in Italy. So and let's uh, get inside and take a look on what they have to offer for this 2022 uh, season. I think they opened uh, last week, yes I think so, they opened last week, so I don't know precisely what I will find inside, uh, surprise, I know I'm late with my village, but I can't avoid to be here at least once every year. See you in just some uh, minutes. Well, I'm already inside and there is a, it's a little crowded. <laughs> I must admit that it is a little crowded, but uh, uh, they have already, I already seen that they have uh, so many new things, so many new features, and uh, I hope I will be able to show you everything, and so let's start having a tour around, and uh, no problem uh, with everything else, uh, sometimes uh, you will get uh, some lousy music, because they already have some uh, big, 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 big Christmas uh, compilation in here. Sorry also for my mask, but it's not more mandatory, but it's way better if I wear a mask inside here. Who knows what are the laws here? I'm just 40 kilometers, uh, 25 miles from Turin where I live, but I don't know. So let's go, uh, let's switch to the front camera and uh, let's have a look around. Okay guys, so I'm starting with here and I see some new buildings. That building is from 2022 collection. Well, maybe the camera is a little not perfectly horizontal, but that's a building there. And I must admit that I'm, I'm almost there to buy it because it's a very beautiful building, the, the gardens there. And so, so there are many buildings from 2022 collection. The Tannenbaum clock, tower clock is from 2021 collection. And here is always they put together some new villages every every year uh, as an example. And these, and you can appreciate that it is more crowded because they are very, very loud today here inside. And so on. So uh, some other new building. Maybe I must put on my glasses, otherwise I won't be able to see anything. Um, yes, I see some new buildings from 2022. That one also, sorry, is from 2022. Uh, the Greenpoint Station there is new. Is from 2022 collection. And they put always in first. Uh, uh, view the new buildings, the bakery there also is new, is from 2022 collection. In the back uh, some uh, old and new buildings from 2021 and 2022. Uh, yes, uh, La Roman Cucina, that is not from 2022 collection, but uh, I don't like it very much. But anyway, oh, the, the car there is very beautiful, the car. And uh, I also see some new figurines in here. I am here to buy so many figurines and 
So this is the first of the images they put together. Let's get here. Okay, here we have some carnival and we have also some veil mountains. This is not, yes, that that's new, that building there, it's new. From 2022 collection. Uh, some uh, ice skating features there. Uh, the free zone there, the free zone, that's uh, uh, a classic as the spinning snowflake there, okay? Then it's a little dark, but you can see the parade, the new parade that is from 2021 collection. And uh, some other buildings, this is for Veil collection. And this is for the Veil. Okay, so... Aspen Ridge, also this, I think it's new from Aspen Ridge. It's a little dark there with a little figurine that is that is spying on me with some goggles there, okay? Okay, some of the carnival here, who, who don't like a carnival. And I, we have some carnival features, some carousels, two kind of carousels, classic ones. The giant wheel, but those are classic buildings from uh, Lemax collection. Uh, the train, the tower, the top tower with the trains, top pizza there. That is new, but <laughs> sincerely, I don't think it is well suited for Cardinal Village there. The top pizza is from 2022 collection. And also there, the Merry Christmas is for from 2022 collection. Very beautiful, but also very pricey building there. As the cheer there, the Christmas cheer. It's new from 2022 collection. And I think it will be a good addition to any collections if you want to buy it. And so some classics mixed with some new buildings and so on. And there is a classic there. An example on how you put together two stairs, two standard stairs to get a very large stair. Normally you get the side, then the stair, then the other side here. This is a junction between two standard plastic stairs from Lemax to get a grand stairs, a larger stairs. Some Victorian um, fences there, mm. and then always the same street lamps with so feeble light that they don't make light at all, they don't illuminate anything at all. Also, here are some new figurines, but they aren't well suited for a Victorian era village, so I don't think I will buy them. So here it is, another side. Let's go. Okay, this is more interesting. Okay, let's talk about this. This is North Pole, so this is a, a collection made exclusively in the uh, exception for the North Pole Observatory. This is all polyresin, so this is plastic. Okay, guys. Uh, the North Pole, the Santa Wonderland, and you can get a very large collection. They started this some uh, some years ago. I have that piece, the, the that piece, the Elf Workshop. As I have the, they don't have today the the Santa's Chalet, but it's from this collection too. And news from 2022, those little elves' houses there, those one there, two there, they have four on catalog, I only see two of them. Uh, I wanted to buy them, one, at least one of them, because you know that I buy at least one new building each season, but take a look how translucent they are. When you have buildings made from polyresin, from plastics, they always they are always translucent. So I don't know if I will go with uh, this solution here, here even in the corner there. They are well designed, they are well modeled, but sincerely, I don't think 
they will fit very well with all my porcelain buildings from all the collection from Caddington collection Santa Swing, I have Santa Swing and so many other figurines in there so the only big uh, piece made in from porcelain is the Norpole Observatory everything else is made from polyresin so it's plastic anyway uh, this is from this is new also it's very beautiful the elf made toys the um, that factory is new for, uh, from 2022 as uh, also the hot rod garage the garage for santa's slave and i don't know maybe i will buy one of two of these little houses here to increase my collection my santa's wonderland collection Okay, this is a mix, a mix from different collections, but those are very beautiful pieces, the nutcracker, everything is sound and sight, so everything has movements here, even the lights there are, are supposed to be movement, when you have lights moving there, that's um, um, movement and everything here is moving the cupcakes cupcake houses there and the sweet the creamery this is a, a good the classic carousel there this is a good setup guys and look they always have one level here first level then they have a little a little level a little second level but as you can see there is no access from level zero to level one. I don't like that. But this is just to give you some ideas. North Pole Mail Room is from 2021 collection. And this is, look at the Santa's uh, rooftop uh, there. Absolutely wonderful piece. And it's porcelain, it's sound and sight, but these as a very high price around much more than one 150 euros so the equivalent of 140 160 euros the christmas group skating rink so this is the opposite side from the veil mountain you are, i've just shown you from the opposite side uh, but this is a Vail village, so if you like skiing and everything else, you go there. This is absolutely perfect if you want to add a section with some slopes and some skiing. But the houses, but you can't access the houses very easily. Yes, you have some little stairs there to get from this house here to that house there. And by the way, I think uh, it's Lucy Chocolate. Yes, it's Lucy Chocolate Shop. And but they don't use here uh, stairs very often to get access from one level to the to another level. That house there is completely isolated. That house there. How can you reach that house? so i don't think i will ever do something like that this is beautiful but this is a table piece this is not for a village not very in scale there but very 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 interesting for any villages skating ponds and yes blind corner it was time because uh, uh, not very often they do a uh, climate corner, so seaside village. This is the first time I'm seeing here uh, this huge seaside village. All the buildings you have there, they fit inside a uh, seaside uh, village. Here a little, uh, a little camp there with campus, some farms in the back there okay very 1950s i think 1960 and the boat there what is jonathan on the 
on the bay, Jonathan on the bay. I haven't seen this boat before, but this is too modern to be Victorian era. This is a 1960, 1970 design. So, but they have done a good job using some blue LED to simulate water because the, uh, you don't have water at all, but you can simulate water adding some spots there, some blue spots. You know also that I don't like spots because they aren't natural, but they are an effective way to get blue in, in this case and to simulate water where you don't have water. This is just simply white artificial uh, snow and with the blue light it gives you the impression that you have water. Here the lighthouse, beautiful because it's also in movement and have a real light inside, not a motor but simply a LED getting from one side, uh, LED, sorry, not LED, LED in Italian, LED inside that get left, right, uh, uh, front and, uh, and back. But this is another way to have uh, some different type of village. I like this. Maybe one day I will add, by the way, this here, I have at least two or three buildings that could go seaside, but I don't have thought about adding some space for adding my 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 buildings, my seaside buildings. So I don't know where I will go. Uh, that um, that uh, flashing LED flashing three is very interesting. Maybe a little too quick flashing but it is interesting. And the bonfires there, you see that they are flickering, but not that much. I think my solution with my decision to go with my flickering the tea lights this year is better suited. But they did also a good job uh, there with the farm and everything else. Uh, I, I see some ships Yes, some sheep, uh, horses there, okay, and a barns, uh, a barns, a stable there, okay. Let me see if I made the, oh no, still to go with the spooky town there. This is spooky town, this is for Halloween. By the way, we are two weeks from Halloween today, yes, it is 15, yes, two weeks. So this year Halloween will be on uh no it will be on monday monday between monday and tuesday yes but guys this is a spooky town a little different from last season no that was there also but here last season they had something but not that much oh that building is very beautiful with the witches uh, <laughs> flying around the clock tower very beautiful if you like uh, spooky uh, villages and everything else yes i don't like very much spooky villages because uh, it's only for one day not for 12 days as can be a christmas village this is only for uh, for halloween but they did they have a very 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 large collection of a very well designed figurines and buildings i like how they they went uh, with their uh, with their uh, spooky town collection look at the back bonanza there with a carousel made from bats genius absolutely genius to have a carousel not with classic horses but with giant bats absolutely absolutely genius sorry for the noise but he, it's the um <laughs> it's the giant pumpkin there that changes from from a smile to very sad and that's all guys i think i've made all the all the tour for all the villages they have here then i would go with some other things and i will comment from mm, from time to time here is the collection of figurines they have uh, a gigantic amount of figurines 
not just uh, from 2022 collection but also from past season collections and I will choose generally they put new figurines here on the right of the stand there but it's huge guys it's absolutely huge and the new buildings I think they are there the new buildings I will do a tour in just some seconds Okay guys, some Louisville there, you know that I bought that figurine from last season, but ah, they are almost perfect, way more detailed than Lamax, Lamax figurines, look here, absolutely perfect guys, poetic, look here, Santa's giving gifts, poses, perfectly posed, posed with the santa with his big toy bag there i love that figurine so well designed so well modeled fantastic but the and the reindeers look at the difference from the reindeer you have here from louisville that is a, um, a dutch company guys and so well defined so well much more defined uh, Santa's having some problem and they are also funny sometimes here um, paramedics are getting Santa some help because he broke his leg Santa in a bubble tub they are so funny sometimes but also very this is 17.5 euros equivalent in USD guys but look genius guys genius maybe i can buy four no three three uh, uh, equivalent figurines from lamax limax for that price but this is so beautiful i don't know guys i'm look guys look what i'm doing right now because i love this figurine and this is the, oh, the last one so i don't want to they, they get rid they take it and I place it there in the cart but I also like this figurine here oh. genius guys look at the boy there and the boy with the giant snowball uh, guys they are so this is maybe too little modern because the the beanie there with the pom-pom there is a little too modern 
but this little guy is king also. They are so beautiful, guys. Beautiful design. I love Lubin for that reason. What is this? Oh, a fountain. <sighs> guys, a water pump, a fountain or a water pump. This is magnificent, guys. Look at the design. But I can't buy everything from Louisville. But this is, guys, allow me to buy it. I, I don't know the price because I, I don't see the where they had put the price. But I love also this figurine. So Santa's with gifts get into the caddy there. Uh, guys, guys, guys. Uh, so let's take a look for, to some other <laughs> This is so genius, guys. Generally, uh, genius how they pose the figurines, guy. They don't have a very large collection, but look here. This is absolutely uh, Victorian style uh, street lamp, much more detail detailed than the ones from Lemax. Uh, guys. But they are so, so... Uh, oh, look at that one. With the column there. Also with the column there. This is... Uh, this is uh, somehow almost the same as Lemax, but with those two columns there, way more... way more Victorian. That gave me a good idea. I can model that. There is no problem at all. I can model them. Yes, and I will transform some some of my street lamps with this technique. It's not a bad idea to come here because they can, they you will get some new fantastic ideas, modeling ideas, and so guy, this goes also into my caddy there. This is Tom and grandfather in the in the snow. Beautiful, with the little the little child trying to get the nose on the on the snowman, the carrot snow. I will spend a fortune today, guys. Uh, that one I already have there. Beautiful, beautiful addition last season to my collection. This is a collection, guys. This is a collection. But Louisville, there also some other street lamps having the same column. Uh, but now I have them, the columns on footage. I just filmed them so I can replicate them. Lamax table accents there. The, all those are table accents from for, from Lamax, Limax. Some gazebos, classic gazebos there. Okay, and some bridges. This is a Victorian era bridges. Then some other gazebos there on top. The fences here, the Victorian park entrance. This is a classic piece. Bridges, I have those in my collection. And uh, this is new fishing pond. L let me see if this is from 2022 or not. Oh, sorry, guys. Yes, this is from 2022. That, that's why I haven't uh, souvenir. I don't remember having seen it before. And this is a little fishing pond with a giant fish on the hook there. Uh, so um, this is too modern, this is Vale Village, more than uh, Caddington Village. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the, this is perfect, this is somehow between Victorian era and, and uh, Harry Potter era. Uh, some order, this is too from 2022, no this is from 2019, I have that one. And so those table accent, this is also very beautiful. This car here is from 2020 collection. Some horses there, but they are too giant, too gigantic. There, the horse with the cart with 
full of uh, barrels. I always wanted to buy that, but it's, it's too big. It's like having one and a half building put there. And I am always lacking space. This is Victorian here. Yes, this is Victorian. And this is from 2019. Yes, this is from 2019. Uh, mm. Okay, good, but not that good. Some modern, uh, some modern, you, you risk to spend thousands, ten thousand, twenty thousand euro on all those beauty. Okay, this is what I wanted for the, the new parade. This is 2022, guys. Yes, this is 2022. This is for Santa's parade. This is Santa's Christmas parade. This is for, um, santa's wonderland but i like this parade here so i will also take this this is 17 1999 uh, this is for carousel this uh, sorry for carnival and so on for carnival etc buildings from louvin guys uh, i like that but those also are resin, not porcelain, so they are translucent too. But look, guy, guys, this is absolutely wonderful building with the poses, guys. Look, the poses they made to, with the figurines, dynamics, poses, hotel, too little for being an hotel, but I like... This is table accent from different uh, collection producers, but uh, with the balloon there. Santa's in the balloon. I like air balloons. Look at that figure in there, guys. Magic. It's pure magic. This, this brand here, Louvi, it's wonderful. It, it has a two, uh, not that... Uh, uh, not that good, big amount of figurines and uh, buildings. Uh, this is absolutely genius, but I already s um, uh, shown you last season. But maybe too small, but 25 euros, 25 USD for a lamp lighter, a lantern lighter. It's exaggerated, guys, but very very interesting then this is also a greenhouse there they have poses magnificent poses look at this fiber optic fountain this maybe yes because with fiber optics the lights get everywhere in the fibers and you get the impression that the water is spilling everywhere absolutely wonderful those price there train station okay uh, and so on guys greenhouses uh, trees etc and you wish to spend a fortune on that building this is this is from Lemax they have mixed Lemax and and Louvil together there uh, but this is not Caddington, this is uh, Harvest Crossing, I think. Yes, this is Harvest Crossing. So, 1950, 1960 collection from Lamax. Yeah. And yes, two modern buildings to be added to a Victorian era village, to a Victorian era collection. Uh, also here we have some, yes, too modern, they are too modern guys, but not that, that modern. Uh, yes, maybe they, they, they have written here, these are collection pieces maybe because they are end of series from past seasons, yes, they are from past season and and so very appreciated buildings 
this is why I love uh, look there the lamp lighter. This is from last season, I think. This is yes, 2021. I have, I still have good memory, guys. Uh, but uh, maybe I can find some buildings I um, I always wanted but never find online because they also keep uh, storage of uh, past uh, ancient buildings or um, past collection buildings. But they are too modern. Not very interested in those buildings here. Okay, but the price is good. Is good for past buildings. Okay. Uh, interesting. Yes, maybe the um, uh, this one is the most interesting uh, building there with the Santa's slate on top of this house. 2019. Also this uh, chapel, but. I already have a one search in my data. I don't think I will. No, no. I also have a, a cathedral, but I never put on stand because it's a very old piece. A French cathedral. Never shown you guys the French cathedral. And those are figurines from Spooky Town there. Also landmarks. And they are, they are smart because they always put the new stick there where you have uh, figurines uh, uh, from the 2022 collection in this case every time they have new collection new pieces they put the stick there with new and so this is spooky town with campfire there but this is only for Halloween yes the parade there is genius I already told you and the Batmobile there <laughs> the Batman car there this is the 1960 um, TV show Batmobile there, <laughs> guys. Very beautiful pieces also up here. But not that cheap. This is absolutely genius also. Marvel's design there. This is the Batman Bonanza, I've already shown you just some minutes ago, but they do absolutely exquisite mm -hmm. sets there. Let's take a look from this side here, these are from older, ah, look there, Duck and this is porcelain, this is from an unknown, unknown, um, uh, unknown brand. But this in every carnival will sweet in any carnival. But 26 euros for something that from an unknown, uh, yes, but this is porcelain, very heavy, guys. It's very heavy. But this is for a carnival, maybe for my Christmas section, my um, circus section. Uh, but they, uh, and also these. Uh, Okay, milk around because you have to shoot uh, milk bottles. Then lucky numbers. Yes, but I don't think they are in scale with everything else from other collections. Those are mini houses if you want to add some different sizes, buildings. These may be in scale. So copyrighted music here so i will uh, film this section without uh, uh, without speaking and maybe i will comment uh, off a line oh look almost the same design i have for my mysterious building there the handrails there the baluster so i will go silent and then comment in post-processing during the editing the the buildings there
this is a beautiful piece. This is from 2018, but this is a very beautiful piece, guys, from the side and from the front with some internal scenes through the windows you have some Christmas balls and some Christmas gifts but this is absolutely a beautiful piece it's well suited for any kind of village okay not too modern and not too old but here we are in Aspen I think yes this is the Aspen section the Aspen collection section, so it was intended for the Aspen collection, so modern nowadays collection. This is new, yes, I think, yes, <laughs> it's written right there, yes, yes. Uh, on Lemax site, this is uh, uh, advised as being part of a Cavington Village collection, but look at the outfit, guys, too modern. This is not suited for Cavington Villa, and those ice skating there, too modern to be uh, ice skates there, too modern design to be Victorian here at Cavington Villa, so I think they made a big mistake uh, advertising this as part of uh, um, of a Lemax collection, but this is 2022. Also, this one, guys, this is on Lemax Society. It is ad advertised as being part of 2022 Caddington Village collection. But first of all, it's from 2021. But uh, this is not Victorian here. Okay, so market here new. It's from 2021. This is one of the pieces generally Lemax then don't get in time into the market so they postpone these to next season but the packaging are all already in market with the 2021 collection so also this one is new for Lamax despite what is written on the box but it's not it's not Victorian era it's too modern guys
End of the Nativity Cribs section. Exterminate here in Italy because, as you know, in Italy is a tradition. 2000 years in the past, guys. But sometimes it's even useful to add some of those things to a Christmas Victorian era village. I also took some of those barrels for my village this is perfect for a market and you remember that last season I used some of those jars here no, the big ones uh, for having some trees inside of them.
all those are working fountains. So all this section here is dedicated to working fountains. And here you are some flickering LED. Those are big. Not LED, but they are made from old uh, bulb lamps. And it is flickering too. Even more, but those lamps are giant. Are this big, guys. So not suited for any uh, of my project. You can see the lamp inside there. It's very big. Okay, it's big. These two inside. Those are very big inside there. It's suited for Nativity Crisp villages, but <laughs> look here. <laughs> How to make olive oil from olives. <laughs> kitchen, a barbecue, very strange, even if 2000 years, more than 2000 years ago they didn't add copper because they, they can forge such stoves there. I, I find this a little bit too towards ridiculousness, okay guys? I can understand this almost a, a barbecue, a modern barbecue with some tools that weren't in, uh, in you, weren't used in that time <laughs> uh, when uh, Jesus was born, at least following what's written in the Bible. Everything here is made from cork wood. This is cork wood, okay? Windmills, they didn't exist at windmills. This is giant scale, guys. Okay. Giant scale. Let's continue here. Big, giant, but this is very well designed stairs that go up then turn left then turn right this is absolutely fantastic design movement there Okay, with some water inside, some fire, movement, uh, pizza guys, tomatoes weren't there, tomatoes are from, the Am <laughs> from America, so how could you have pizzas, how could you have mozzarella and basil 2000 and more years ago, this is outrageous. How can you do such a thing? Yes, wood, um, uh, wood ovens for cooking uh, some bread, yes, fishing pond also, yes, but don't exaggerate too much. Also there, pepperoni wasn't there, curcuma is <laughs> way after that time. Here too, some potatoes in the plate. Potatoes are from Americas, can't have them on such era, in that era. That's why I think traditional ones are good, like this one, like uh, like this one, traditional, <laughs> this is, how, how can you have some donuts in that period of time? Donuts, guys. 
Chambele is donuts. Donuts, come on, it's it's like having some uh, I don't know Homer Simpson there uh, saying the give me a donut. No, no way, guys. A roasting piglet. Yes, this is acceptable, possible, possible. Yes. What we have here, yes, possible, 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 all this is possible. Wine, yes. Salt, also, pumpkins, no, guys. Pumpkins, no. Another time, some pizzas there. Exaggerating like that is not good for historical purposes. Tell me where on the Bible is written that they add pizzas. Uh, uh, sorry guys, I'm not that, uh, that uh, religious person, but come on, I know what's written inside the Bible for my personal culture. Uh, um, but guys, come on. Those movements are good. Those is acceptable. Those are acceptable. Okay, guys. Those scenes too are acceptable. These absolutely yes, and this is so beautiful, guys. This is a masterpiece. I don't know who did this. I don't know the producer. I don't know. The artist that did this, but this is absolutely wonderful. Even there, these two. Those are those are more modern ones. Yes, I know, but those are masterpieces. Not exaggerating with uh, yes flowers, etc., but not pizzas or or, or, or tomatoes. Rock paper, guys, that is so common in Europe and Italy, too. Rock paper, guys. Yeah. But I don't like this brand here, so I prefer the other one I found in the other Christmas department store I visit generally. Some lights, some props for creating some nativity creeps. Those are masterpieces, I already told you. Look here, 25 euros each. 25.90, so almost 26. Look at the resemblance. Didn't he look like Morgan Freeman? The actor, this is the face, is almost the same face as Morgan Freeman, guys. This is absolutely perfection. This no, but the other one, yes. Those are magnificent pieces. Those are real artistic. Your artists who made them. The previous one are maybe from some factory in China or something like that, that they don't know history. But this, this is made and made by some Italian artists, guys. Look there. Fantastic. Shoes repairing, shoes repairing. Good working there. Roasting something. This is perfection for a nativity crease, but they are priceless. Some, some, some fruits. Here, what we have? Some. Uh, is this some sort of cheese? Yes, this is some sort of cheese. Those are absolutely perfect. These is. Those are masterpieces, guys. Yes, different sizes, but those are masterpieces. Look, almost see in with the ship there. 
those are real masterpieces. Even this one, the little, the little girl on the swing in the Absolutely perfect, guys. The, those are perfect. Uh, when you when you see a, a chord there, the, this means that you have movement. This is the swing. You have the girl swinging there. Here too, I think seeing the, the screw there that the the creeps there will be going left and right. This maybe is uh, getting the uh, the water up from the well there. So movements all these are, are movements the man here asking for some charity absolutely perfect guys absolutely perfection and uh, and the bu light bulbs are too big maybe i have some of them here i can show you light bulbs light bulbs light bulbs light bulbs no, 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 some small ones, but th those are not flickering lights, no, I don't, they don't have spare, spare flickering uh, traditional uh, uh, light bulbs in here, okay, those are handmade, yes, those are not Chinese made, not made in China, okay, This is absolute, and and they are protected uh, against uh, shoplifters, guys. It's obvious, but because they are so beautiful and so pricey that shoplifters exist everywhere, guys. Those are very well modeled, very well sculpted. Okay, guys. Here too, beautiful designs, beautiful statues. I, I've never been into nativity creeps, but if you are into them, this is amazing, guys. Such a massive production here. And who buys Lamax generally don't buy nativity creeps, figurines and uh, uh, props, etc. I, I don't know, I've never been there. As I told you some minutes ago, I'm not a religious person. Sorry people, sorry guys, but that's who I am. The Roman soldier there, fantastic. Maybe a centurion because he has something on his helmet. Maybe this is a centurion. Camos, etc. Those are small ones. Those are big ones. The shoe repair man. Shoe repairing, guys. Look, perfection. Shoe repairing. The organ grinder, guys. A organ grinder. Maybe some not well suited because yes not at that time guys not an organ grinder at that time mechanical uh, uh, instruments didn't exist at that time as here the chef here okay guys so this is for for marketing okay guys this is absolutely for marketing sometimes they they have they they made they make something exaggerated look at the centurion here he's missing the spear but they have wrote here ask for the spear ask for the spear and this is what you can achieve if you are really into nativity creeps look they made some scenes in the back there far from this main point of view and you can't see it through the side because it's it's closed but you can see through the glass here and the back far there on the back sorry it can't get on focus but in the back there in the cave you are some activity 
Yeah, the horse chewing, he's horse chewing, some wine, etc. Some water meal there, guys, with scenes, with movements inside there. So this is perfection. And this is absolutely no anachronism. It is absolutely perfect. Giant, yes, and look up there, guys. So this is absolutely stunning, guys. Some more scenes up there, some uh, old village up there in the background. Sheep, there, this is. And also up, up, up there, far on the back there, another another scene with another village in, in the middle of the cave. So this is genius, guys. I'm not into that, but this is genius. <laughs> Okay guys, so let me remove my mask because I'm outside now. Some freedom guys. And it's uh, 10 minutes to 3 p.m. Three hours in this. And maybe I can show you the big sign there. Sorry, I will... Uh, no, I, I will not. I don't have the, the permission to show you everything and so but maybe if I am going this way I can show you where I am I am at Ferrara guys uh, as I told you before and um, I didn't found everything I was searching for but I have two buildings two buildings from this here collection and figurines and some props three or four of them you have seen me picking them the other will be for when i will uh, go home and do uh, a first unpacking not uh, unboxing because i will do uh, some reviews of uh, the two buildings but at least uh, the what i both i will show you exactly what i both figurines props and and so on uh, I spent less than last last year, guys. I don't know why. Uh, I was convinced to spend much more, but instead I haven't. Uh, very strange. Anyway, uh, I'm almost at my car, so see you uh, at home, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm at home. It's almost 4 p.m. So I left this morning at uh, half past 11 and that is the time that took me to uh, go there, 48 kilometers, 25 miles more or less. Shoot some video for you that I will, sh that you have just seen and then getting here once again. So let me show you what I bought. Let me start for what, from what you have already seen me taking from Louisville presents from Santa okay guys and I love the details of Louisville um, uh, designs of Louisville uh, figurines maybe a little too thick the base is maybe a little too thick but guys this is almost a table accent but in scale with everything else so I will uh, use it this here then also from Louisville Santa with gifts and also this one you have seen me picking it from the uh, from the shelves Santa with gifts precision Santa not uh, completely with white beard okay but also some gray and this is perfect look at the scarf the little boy scarf literally in the uh, snow uh, and the little girl looking at a santa uh, asking a present it is for me is it for me okay also this very uh, uh very beautiful table accent i uh, i i'm saying that it is a table accent but uh, each time because each time you have uh, uh, some <clears throat> supports uh, under the base it is supposed to be a table accent but I will use it in my village also from 
and I'm not um, from Louisville, sorry. Uh, Tom and the grandfather in the snow, uh, finishing the snowman with the mm, carrot nose there. Uh, beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the expression, if you can, at the expre at grandpa's expression. Absolutely wonderful, guys. Uh, I will show them to you once they are in the village. I couldn't resist the reindeers, guys. Much more defined, much higher quality than the Lemax, than the Limax uh, reindeers. They only have one model, Lemax, Limax has many models in many poses, reindeers in many poses, but those are magnificent. Louisville, 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 last one, the water pump, guys. It, it's so, look, look at the ripple in the water. That's why I love the, this uh, series here, this brand, this brand here. And luckily it doesn't make many, many models each year. And that's all for Louisville. From Limax, Limax. Some uh, kind of fancies, guys. It's always good to have uh, some more kind of fancies, uh, standard kind of fancies, and uh, <clears throat> a standard uh, wood uh, fence there. Okay, I always use it uh, all along the railroad. As concerning the figurines, you have seen that I was picking up the Santa's Christmas Parade. I will not do an unboxing of this, but let's take a look inside what we have in here. Always open the box from this kind of boxes from both sides. And then push in order to get it out inside. Okay, guys. Santa and Mrs. Santa. One, two, three, four elves. Standard elves. Uh, resin elves. Okay. And then uh, some, a couple of disguised elf. Uh, they are penguins. Okay. Another good parade. And Santa and Mrs. Santa. Mm, not as defined as they should be, but. It's a good parade. It's a good set, guys. And also this, this will be the third parade in my village. The original classic one, the one from last season. And then this one. Three parades. Parades are never enough. And never too much in a village. Let's put this back. Okay, and then voila, close it. Then, 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 then. This is strange. It's from 2022. A little puppy searching inside the Santa bag for his present. And this is fun, guys. Just for fun. Uh, in, it is for, from 2022 collection uh, 2. Then this is the wine bar, guys, is item 22140 from Lemax. This is suited for any kind of village, but if you have a wharf a dock, this is absolutely wonderful for your wharf or dock uh, worker, a dock worker uh, with uh, maybe a too modern uh, suite two modern pants there, but not that much. Lemax 22142, this is holiday shopping with mum, okay? A mum and daughter going shopping, it's the third or fourth version of this couple that Lemax is doing, always mum and daughter, always mum and daughter. They only modify the, the, the suits or the packages they have on hand. 
Then uh, Lemax item number 22134 uh, is building a snowman. This is for uh, North Pole, this is for um, Santa's Wonderland section. There is a little health uh, with the presence of a penguin trying to um, uh, to uh, make a snowman. Funny too, a good addition to the uh, North Pole section there. Then, I actually don't like these packages, the old style packages, but this is item 22114, wood for the fire. The lady here has some wood for the fire. 2022 collection, but this is an old packaging. This is 1990 style packaging, guys. Then, yes, item 22117. This is, if I remember correct, um, garden cart. Yes, a garden cart. Maybe not Christmas because all those flowers during Christmas time. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, thank you. But this is from 22, 2022 collection and this is Candido collection. So let, let's make an exception. And a lady selling flowers, many kind of flowers. Okay. Then the good ones. This is item 2216. This is under the mistletoe. Uh, okay, the guy here has some mistletoe in his hand. The lady is selling mistletoe. Obviously, he is waiting from the lady kiss, guys. Okay, the lady with her hands behind the back, him too. They are waiting to kiss. This will be no problem at all to uh, uh, to place them one in front of the other, waiting to kiss. A little of romance, guys, but this is also from 2022 collection. Then, 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 of those little guys here, this is item 22137, Crafty Eel uh, Elves. So there are three elves crafting something. Maybe they are too little compared to the other elves from the same um, collection. This is from... Santa's Wonderland collection, you can see that they are shorter. I don't understand why Lemax is doing uh, such idiot things. Uh, go ahead, make them the same height, use the same scale. Anyway, this is the, the first uh, one, the lady here is crafting some, um, some cookies, yes, some cookies. Then uh, that, then some popcorns, I think. I am not sure what he, he, they are crafting. Then, then, yes. Item 22144. This is uh, uh, Christmas shopping date, I think. Yes. Christmas shopping date, a couple having uh, a, a date during Christmas um, time, uh, going shopping together, M much detailed, uh, gloves for both of them, then the little purse for the lady, then the top hat, then very, very detailed. This is a good figurine, guys. So item 22, one. 44. Item 22143 gifts for the grandchildren. A couple of grandparents rushing through the shops and to trying to get almost all the gifts they can for their grandchildren. Also, this as some dynamic poses because the scarves are flying in the wind. So item 22143, 2022 Lemas collection. And then 
my favorite one from this collect from this 2022 collection the proposal guys 22141 item 22141 the guys on his knee with the ring in his hand uh, and the hat in his other hand so romantic so classic pose so victorian era um good looking couple some standard behavior for that time and the lady uh, with the, uh, uh, hands on her face <gasps> oh my god a ring oh thank you dear like that sorry guys i'm so stupid and that's all for the figurines let's talk for, uh, for a moment about the buildings I wanted my first intention was to uh, also get some elf lane little buildings, but they were sold. Firstly, they were already sold out after one week of uh, from the uh, starting from the season starting. Then they were not inside some packaging, but they are they were on some stand because I've seen the stand where they were before going out of stock and uh, pricey twenty six euros each they are in four different types. you have seen them on uh, the previous video when I shown you the uh, Santa's Wonderland section. 26 euros for a building that was no taller than this exaggerated polyresin then transparent but they were sold out i wanted anyway one of them the uh, flame number two because it is the best one at least for me it was item 24010 they were sold out then i wanted to buy the union fire company uh, firehouse, it is a firehouse item 25885. Not that good, guys. I watched it, I asked uh, if I could open the box, and they allowed me to open the box. And inside, no snow on the roof, not enough snow, no, just uh, a Dalmatian dog on top of a, a fire a wagon of a fire truck not that good so instead i went for other two buildings that i will review lately i will do a, a first unboxing and full review of both of them this is from 2022 collection porcelain building corner residence guy it's it's not a standard building it's made like that so at 45 degrees uh something strange from sometimes i want something strange here once again this has been designed by some chinese artists guys because the roof is curved like chinese roof i will repeat this during my uh, my review but this is not victorian or european design or north american design this is this roof design is chinese design why they continue doing that i know that lamax built everything in china but come on come on get on some book get online check the design uh, but anyway, this is with some uh, red ribbons all around the building, on the windows, etc. A good amount of snow, some uh, mistletoes, some uh, Christmas uh, trees, a snowman, and some lights. They didn't, they aren't uh, real uh, lights, so just some um, Christmas balls there. But this is some strange building from Lemax that usually goes square. And then my favorite one, guys. This was, has always been my first choice for 2022 building. I always add at least one building for each year to my collection. This is Caddington Conservatory Gardens. Item 25867 2022. 
Lamax Incorporated. So Victorian, guys. The design is so Victorian with the snow, with uh, some drawings, conservatory in uh, in uh, Victorian um, uh, fonts. Then the shapes here almost uh, um, towards a steampunk metal uh, support for the windows with inside some trees and some flowers, uh, beautiful Christmas plants, etc. With real uh, street lamps. Those are LED street lamps, two from the outside, one here illuminating the sign post, the shop. Sh uh, the shop uh, sign post and then a couple inside the scenes there beautiful uh, maybe this is um, a row no this is not a row this is a, um, a wheel a turning wheel a steering wheel for boats a steering wheel for boats uh, but guys I don't care. This is so Victorian. So uh, also all the lights here. This is this, has, this cost almost 100 euros, guys. This is 83 euros. But look also at all the LED different colored LED. N not only one single color, but they are green, uh, yellow, or red all along the border and also on the roof there and all along the uh, the doors maybe not oh, also another uh, lead here not maybe not entirely victorian maybe too modern with all those christmas lights around this is a very beautiful building and if you, you want go ahead buy it i will do a full review and it's a heavy building guys porcelain yes but uh, heavy uh, guard a uh, heavy building so next week i don't think i will be able to do a review on both of those buildings but i will do certainly do a review uh, of both of them before um, taking them to the layout now I almost lost all Saturday and I should get back to work. It's 4.15, 4.17 p.m. So thank you for watching.